Hey, this is Sam from Corporate Illustration, and this is 100 Days of Making Comics. Today is day 29. For those that do not know, this challenge was started by Kevin Cross. It's basically where you spend at least a half an hour every day working on your personal comic book project for 100 days straight. This is my first go around on the 100 days. Alright, uh, usually I go over whatever I did today at work. Um, I didn't do anything at work. Uh, I went in later today. Uh, we were uh, throwing a... Sort of having like a luncheon, I guess, and I was bringing in uh, like a Taco Tuesday type of thing, Taco Bar. And uh, the fridge we have at work, I wouldn't put anything in there to uh, save my life. At least a big refrigerator to where I could hold all that stuff. So I just went in later, so whenever I bring it in, I could just take it out of my fridge, take it down there, and then um, we could eat it. So I strategically went in work late today. Uh, anyways, uh... So yeah, uh, because of that, I didn't start until later than I usually do, and it um, took me a while to get out of there. I didn't actually didn't get out of work until around 10.30. So, um, I got home, uh, spent not really all that much time with uh, my wife, and um, she uh, went to bed. And I came down and did my half an hour, so that's done and out of the way. Um, yeah, so now it's on to the 30 minutes for the challenge. Um... So yeah, I'm going to get to that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I know I was thinking today um, I want to change some of the story around. Uh, not really what happens in the story, just parts of it. So it makes more sense, I guess. So um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, print that out tomorrow at, while at work. Because we have a laser printer there. and Why wouldn't I use the laser printer to print it out instead of my ink? Um, and... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to work on doing that. Um, I already know pretty much what I got to do, but uh, it's going to be a pain because I have it in Scrivener, and to rearrange everything, I'll have to, like, the way I've set it up, I'll have to rearrange pages. So it won't be that bad. It's just uh, be, uh, I'll have to, like, change page numbers and everything. So, But, uh, anyways, uh, I think tonight I am going to either draw or do SketchUp. I'm really undecided right now, so. Um, I'll decide probably the next five minutes. Um, I'm having fun with SketchUp. I'm learning a lot. Um, I've been creating buildings and whatnot. So, um, basically I just want to create a building a day maybe. Um, or every other day. Because <clears throat> I figure if I do that over the course of like, say the next 30 days, that'd be like 30 buildings. And they all don't have to be like super skyscrapers. Some of them can be cheap, easy, like small buildings, you know, because not every city has skyscrapers everywhere, so... Um, yeah, and then, like, then I got, I got like, a, a tram system or a railroad, or not a railroad, but a, uh, train system, like the Loops of City or whatever. Um, like over in Japan with the bullet trains. So. Um, but yeah, um, so I could do that. Uh, we'll just take some time. Uh, but piece by piece, I think putting it together won't take all that long. I don't really need super detail. I don't need, like, create trees and street lights and whatnot. Um. Because I can pretty much draw those in myself. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, get to what I'm going to do. Uh, actually, I think I've decided on SketchUp. Because, uh, just talking about it, <laughs> I, was, I had an idea for something and now I'm going to run with it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what comes out of that. I'll OBS it and it be coming up. Thanks. Alright, getting my half an hour in. Get back on the saddle. And getting work done. I'm almost done. And we'll be on the combo work.
All right, I got about 45 minutes in on the SketchUp. I uh, created a skyscraper uh, for my city. Um, so yeah, making uh, progress on that. Um, I know that it seems like I'm doing the same stuff every day, but it's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done. And um, like with SketchUp stuff, I figure it's different than what I've been doing for the past, I don't know, 20, five some days. You know, it was a lot of writing and just drawing characters and whatnot. I'm figuring doing that every day is uh, was getting old. So I figured SketchUp would be something new. Maybe you guys can see how some techniques on how to use te the SketchUp or whatever. Uh, maybe it would make uh, some people want to use SketchUp um, for their comic books and whatnot. Because it, it, it is insanely helpful uh, to be able to model stuff, even if it's just very simple. Um, it doesn't have to be super complicated. Um, like, take for example Jason Brubaker um, for his uh, the comics that he's doing now. Um, he has a thing, a model for uh, a sand ski, where, which they ride around on, and it's not really like it's 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 pretty detailed. But I mean, it, it could be done in SketchUp if you just take your time and do it uh, and learn SketchUp. Um, but I mean, like just using that, like I've seen. He was doing his live cast multiple times. He would just throw it in there, put it at an angle that he wanted, put it in Photoshop, and then he would just, you know, draw all the details in around it. Uh, and it probably saved him lots and lots of time. So it's definitely a time saver. I don't really believe in um, the people that would just go into the 3D warehouse and um, just go download a city or whatever, you know. It, I mean, it's good for... Um, I don't believe in like doing that. It's, it's good for people that I guess don't want to sit around a model and just need something really quick, uh, you know. But um, doing it over and over and over and over again, I think it would lead to stale stuff and basically stuff that everybody else has because I'm sure a lot of other people are doing the same thing, pulling from the same crowd. So I don't want to do that. I want to try to create most of the stuff that I have on my own so I know that it's, you know, mine and... Um, that I created it, uh, so it's all me. <clears throat> but to each their own. I'm not going to really fault for anybody for using the stuff in a warehouse. I just, to me, it doesn't uh, make sense because it's going to produce a lot of the same looks that a lot of other people have um, if you look through stuff. And I have heard of uh, people going for like editor reviews and stuff at Comic Cons and showing their stuff, and they're like, yeah, you use this from the Google SketchUp warehouse, and this, you know, they could tell, so, not that I'm going to be pitching to any comic book editors or anything, but, if people can tell, and, you know, they've seen it enough times, I just don't want to be using the same stuff, so, anyways, that was a big long rant about, uh, making everything on SketchUp on your own, but, still, the point being is, it's a very helpful tool for an artist, um, if you make it on your own, if you make the stuff on your own anyway, you're still creating everything yourself. So it would never, it wouldn't be considered cheating if, it's not considered cheating if you didn't make it, but, um, I know some people still feel that way, so, uh, that way you are making it yourself, so technically you're doing everything still, so it's not cheating. Alright, on that note, I'm going to end my long rant, and uh, I'm going to go to bed because it's pretty late. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, by today, guys, and just click subscribe and join, uh, like on this video if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow.